everybody welcome back to the dream machine 1.0 build today we're gonna actually walk you through the fabrication of a custom trailer safety is a big concern when we're towing the dream machine up and down the highways the trailer is priority number one got to make sure it's safe and reliable so stay tuned say hi Rodney what's up guys how's it going welcome back thanks man happy to be here Break it down for me. Cool. So we got here a G14 1200. We uh, hooked Oliver up on this dream, the OG Dream Machine project, and uh, we got a nice looking trailer on uh, what's going to be a nice looking boat here soon. Luis, could you just kind of like walk us through some of the upgrades here? Today we got here a G14 1200. We custom built for uh, Big Bass Dreams, Oliver. It is a full galvanized trailer. It is set up for salt water purposes, any water purposes at all, um, specifically salt water. It is hot dip galvanized. It is non-corrosive and should hold the test of time. We're talking 20 plus years. Um, up front, we've got a UFP ball coupler. It is a two inch size ball coupler. It is the newest model, which is very common nowadays, but easy to use and super safe. I've never seen them come off. 
um, followed by safety chains, which these are here for, again, safety purposes. If you manage to come unhooked, these guys are here to uh, keep you safe and trailer behind. Up front, we got the UFP two inch ball coupler. It's set up to be easy to unlatch and latch back up, not get slang up like the old couplers. We have a spare tire carrier up front for any blowouts that might occur. We do have load guides on either side. There's going to be the parallel running boards that help the boat launch and retrieve, especially by yourself. It makes life super easy. We're going to weigh back. We do have a lower keel roller. This is in place for uh, pretty much keeping the keel out of the bottom of the trailer and you know damaging the boat. It's something that's important. We don't want to damage our boat. In turn, we don't want to keep a good trailer so the boat doesn't get damaged. Followed by the tires, we do offer the 17580 R13s. It's a full-size radial tire. The reason we use uh, the 175 ADR13 tires, essentially it's a more full size radial tire. It allows for a lower rotation and you don't burn through tires as much. And uh, the PSI rating keeps you at a good level so you're not blowing tires. All the hardware on the entire trailer is stainless steel and that again is for corrosion purposes so you don't get rusting, no breaking. Um, that's the last thing we want to do when we get out on the water. Last thing on the back of the trailer, you always want to have straps. Straps are a big part that I see a lot of boat trailers out there not having. These essentially keep the boat from rocking back and forth and side to side while you're trying to get around on the road. Um, that's a necessity and it is a law to keep them. And last thing also, all our trailers are going to come with LED lighting with a full sealed harness and that's there again to stop with corrosion. The winch is a common thing that I see uh, forgotten about very often or at least its capabilities and how it's supposed to be used. Um, the winch is there to keep the boat on top of the trailer and safely secured. Um, often I also see people forgetting to install their safety cables or mounting them to their eye bolt on the boat themselves. The safety cable is there essentially just in case this strap breaks, and I'm sure it's happened to many of you as well as Oliver and you know the whole fishing community. These cables are there to keep the boat on top of the trailer so you don't lose your dream machine. Other than that, it's ready to go. Dream machine is uh, in progress now and it's time to slay some fish. <laughs> Yeah, it's sick, man. I'm super pumped on this trailer. I think what a lot of us take for granted, especially in the early stages, is just doing whatever it takes to get our boat out on the water. And we're, I was guilty of neglecting the trailer. And that got, in, got me into some trouble. So this time around, I got a legit trailer, much wider wheelbase, bigger tires. Safety is a big deal. You know, with all the, the time we spent on the highways, uh, the last thing we need to worry about is blowouts and axles falling apart, and this and that. So hey, I got one. She's a bruiser. Hey, I'm a junior.